Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel if you're new, if you're new here, hello, my name is Casper, and I am drinking apple juice and fatigue mug, because I'm turning 22 next month and I'm a classy adult, so, anyway, I thought I'd talk to you guys today about the two main ways of blending that I use. One of them I've been using for quite a few years now, and one of them I have only recently started doing, and that is binding with tape and binding with a binder. Um, they're two very different things, um, so I thought I'd run through what they do and then talk about the pros and cons of. So I would say the most common form of binding is with a binder. This looks very small, but I promise it's not as small as it looks. Um, this is a chest binder. I have quite a few of these um, just lying all around my room. <laughs> I think I have about four of varying ages. This is my newest one, which is why it's so white. Um, I just have a skin colour one and all my other ones are white. Um, I got mine from Spectrum Outfitters. I will link them below and also I did a review on them, so I'll link that as well. Um, but basically they're just like a compression vest. Um, they're made out of a Pretty stretchy material for most of the part. Um, the good thing about these is um, is that they are a one-time buy, so a lot of people prefer them because yes, they're like thirty-eight pounds, but you only buy them once, um, which a lot, which obviously saves a lot of money as opposed to the upkeep of this. Um, another really good thing is that they come in a lot of skin tones, so I'm quite a pasty boy. So I have the lighter skin tone and even that isn't light enough for me. Um, or you can get them in like white, black, grey, depending on what company you go with. Um, so yeah, so a lot of people like that. A lot of people have also, I've seen a lot of people on Instagram like styling them with their outfits. So they work in that way, they can work as vests. Um, you can swim in them and they do, again, depending on your chest size, they do offer a surprisingly good compression um, however there are obviously some downsides to these because they compress your chest and you'll, they push on your rib cage again depending on what company you go with so spectrum they the compression works from the back um, so there's fewer problems um, but if worn <laughs> incorrectly or for too long then they can pose like problems with breathing and ribs and stuff like that I've worn them for four years I've never had an issue up until fairly recently and that was because I was taking regular three hour naps in my binder so my lungs were well my chest was you know quite you know um you know um quite unhappy with me and I think you know that's called for um so because the fact they compress your chest and they push on basically everything um, you can only wear them, well it's recommended that you only wear them for no longer than 8 hours. Um, you can't do sports in them, you can't sleep in them. Um, so you do have to take them off after a period of time. And I find that they start, they do start to hurt your ribs after about <laughs> 10 hours. Um, because I'm sure every trans mask guy has, at some point in their binding experience, has worn their binder for longer than they should do I, I i know i'm guilty of that particularly on like a long work day when i'm up early and home late um or oh shit i forgot to take my binder off um so again depending on going what company you go on depends on how good the compression is and how painful it is um you they can't be machine washed so the only way that you can wash them is hand washing and I'm going to be honest they are not the quickest drying material um they do take a fair while to dry and obviously depending on what kind of household you're in whether you're in an accepting household or whether you're going stealth depends on whether that isn't a, a thing that you can do whether you can leave your binder to dry in the bathroom or something or hanging up um or whether that is not an option for you so that is definitely something to consider they're also pretty expensive so this binder was £38. Um, so you can get cheaper ones, but obviously they're, they're really not as good. So 
that's another problem with binders is the fact that you can get a lot of like rip off ones from Amazon and eBay that are really really bad and so the ones that have like a zip or a hook along the side don't get them they're not very good because they the compression is and the weight is distributed differently and it's really bad for your ribs um so you have to get them from a reputable company but that does mean forking out bet anything between you know 25 and 40 quid depending on what company you go with um they are becoming more accessible and they are they are starting to do more like binder exchanges and things like that so they are becoming more accessible but they are still kind of expensive so not everyone has the funds for it um and that does lead to a lot of people using some less some some dangerous ways of binding um so yeah that, that that does pose an issue um and it's yeah a lot a lot of people struggle with going in a stealth household or a not very accepting household i'm really sorry if you can hear that but that is my flatmates um so apologies about that but the next alternative which is something i'm quite new to and i will make a whole separate video on um as i've started to properly learn the ropes and that is tape uh this is the roll that i'm currently using um, it's just a roll of like KT tape and it's lined so you can cut it. Um, again, I will link this below. I got this from FTM Life Source on Etsy. Um, I'm not sponsored, I just, they were just the brands that I used. Um, so yeah, so you just cut them up and then this is what my tape looks like when it's on me. Again, still not pasty enough for me. Um, <laughs> but I don't think anything ever will be. Um, so yeah, so the things that I like about tape is the fact that I can exercise in it. So I did a whole day of PE training last week in it, and I was completely fine. I didn't have a problem. I can bathe in it, although the tape does take a little while to dry. I can shower and wash and swim in it. Um, I like the fact that it feels a lot more natural. So I can have a, a shirt or a t-shirt or whatever touching my skin, and it feels a lot more... Like I have less of a reminder of what the fact that I have a chest um and it's a, m a lot better in the summer because binder sweat is not a fun thing um so it feels a lot more natural for me and i feel a lot more comfortable walking around without a shirt on i can sleep without a shirt on without any dysphoria what well, i say without any dysphoria with reduced dysphoria i you know i can i can comfortably do that um and i like the fact that it you know like i said it it feels a lot more natural the only um I also really like the fact that because I struggle a lot with binders because I'm in between sizes, um, this I can cut and shape to my own body size, so my chest is uneven, so I have more tape on this side than I do on this side, um, and I'm able to do that, and it works for me. Um, so that's something I really like. Um, this company only does one skin tone, but some other companies will do multiple skin tones. I've seen some companies do like camo and stuff so it depends on you know, shop around have a look at what you what you like some people um some companies do like thicker tape some people do thinner tape some come pre-cut so it really depends there's lots of options um the only problem the biggest problem that i have with tape is and this just might be me because i have quite sensitive skin is the fact that it does take a toll on your skin so i find that i get like rashes and blisters under my arms um, if I haven't, like, if I've worn it for too long, or if I've taken it off incorrectly. So, you do have to hydrate your skin. The first time I ever used it, I got massive blisters. Um, but since then, I've kind of learned how to put it on and everything. Um, and I also use, like, eczema cream after I take it off. It is quite oily, but it does the job. It hydrates my skin, and I found that my skin is a lot better when I take it off and use that. Um, so your skin will get used to it, but it does take a toll. Your skin will be red, your skin will be blistery for the first couple of tries. Um, so it's certainly something that you shouldn't be using every single day just because your skin will not like you. Um, following on from that, you also need to cover up your nipples. So I just buy these and just cut them in half and put one on one nipple and one on the other. Because otherwise you will be ripping your nipples off, which is not fun. Um, so that leads me on to my next thing is the fact that there is a running upkeep so these are about 10 pounds each this is obviously about three pounds 
um, I find that this lasts me about a month or two, so there is a good, there are a good few, I could probably get another month out of this, um, so I've been using this for about, yeah, like about a month or two, um, I use five strips with each one, um, but there is an upkeep, um, this is my second roll, this is my third one, um, so that is another thing to consider. And I will need to be buying these a lot more often. Uh, some people just use tissues, some people don't, but you do need to use something. Um, I know some people who are allergic to the adhesive, and that's something you don't really know until you test strip, so I would recommend test stripping. Um, I didn't, just because <laughs> I was like, well, I bought this anyway, so... Um, so yeah, so that's another thing. Um, a lot of people find, and this isn't a problem, um, so much of a problem for me, um, I find just because, well, it's something I used to f struggle with when I first used tape and now I'm starting to become okay with it, but it doesn't, I find it doesn't give as much of a flat appearance as a binder does, so it's, it's a lot more regular and a lot more lumpy, I say a lot more, depending on your chest size and depends on how you use the tape. But I find that it's it's not as flat. Um, but I understand that even cis guys' stuff isn't flat. Um, I also find that because I have an uneven chest, one of them is flatter than the other. Um, so that's something that might be considered if your chest isn't even. Um, however, I do like the fact that I can wear like strapless, not strapless, but like sleeveless shirts and stuff and I can like sleep shirtless and things like that and it's great in the summer um because binder sweat is not nice um but overall I personally prefer tape over binding why just because it, I like the natural feel I like the fact that I can do a lot more in it uh, these are better for like winter and dysphoria, like higher dysphoria days, um, or you know, if I'm in a tighter shirt or something like that. Um, like I do wear these. I usually wear these on my when I'm not wearing this. I'll be wearing this. Um, but no, I do prefer tape over binding. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, there is more of an upkeep, but I think it's worth it. Um, and I think there's still. You know, there's there's pros and cons to everything um but yeah that's just my personal opinion um hope you guys found that useful you'll find all the links to everything in the description below and i will do a more in detail video about tape coming soon but until then i shall see you next week